I'm Erin Kyle. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the AORN Guidelines for Perioperative Practice. The guideline for surgical smoke safety has been updated with the most recent literature and reorganized to align with the hierarchy of controls from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. This hierarchy promotes a safer work environment by applying a systematic approach to identify and implement the most effective method to reduce exposure to the hazard, which is surgical smoke. Safe practices to consider as part of this hierarchy include eliminating the hazard, such as avoiding the use of surgical smoke, substituting the hazard, such as using a different device or a lower energy setting, using engineering controls, such as implementing surgical smoke evacuation and filtration, using administrative controls, such as creating policies and procedures for the surgical smoke safety plan, and using personal protective equipment or PPE, such as respiratory protection. Perioperative teams should implement the highest level of control possible to eliminate the hazard of surgical smoke and if elimination is not possible, the team should use the next level in the hierarchy. Some significant updates to the content of the guideline include more information about how to establish a smoke-free environment with the interdisciplinary team, the addition of filtration to the smoke evacuation recommendations, and the importance of personal protective equipment, in other words, respiratory protection, as secondary protection, and certainly not the first line of defense against surgical smoke. Where this came through in the literature was specifically significant for open procedures involving the liver, where research has demonstrated high concentrations of both fine and ultra-fine particles in surgical smoke from liver tissue, which is very damaging to the lungs.